So I'm going to cover the automation workflow in HubSpot, specifically to the email trigger. And I have an example in here that we will follow. So basically, the goal is we want to create an internal workflow that sends a team member, and this is a dummy name, so sends a team member a notification or an email each time a contact becomes an active member, okay? But before we jump into the workflow one, we will um, create first a, a dummy name, this one. And if this is already like it's a team, it should be a team member. So basically just click this settings icon and go to the users and teams. And then you basically need to create a username. And I'm going to use an example name in here. And next. And we'll just use a default permission for now, sender permission, and then next, and then here, and that one. Okay. And you can use your name, like whichever name you prefer. So yeah, I'm probably going to use my personal email address because I don't have that email address for, for this dummy name so once you're already created a team member or the team member is already existing into your um users account in hubspot you can then jump into the automation section and click the workflows okay so the goal in here again this is the goal and we will create a sample workflow called new member welcome pack so going to the create workflow button and we will start from scratch um, this is already a, a preset um, template that you can do, but if you have a customized workflow that you want to achieve, then click this blank workflow button or option. So we'll name that workflow called new member welcome pack. Click the next button. And then here, so the goal is we want to set up a trigger every time a contact become a an active let me just see this one so we want every time a, a a contact become an active member then this person should receive a notification okay so there is a two types of properties by the way which is a bit confusing and i'm going to explain with you that shortly so there is a so-called lead um status this one and it is used for sales properties and this is also there is also a status um that is related to the like the activity of a specific contact so the difference in this type of properties is contact activity or status cannot be edited it is a default in hubspot while the lead status that is a uh, part of sales properties can be edited or can be modified so if you go into the let me just open another tab in here go to the contact section and then contacts and let's use this one as an example you have it in here a lead status which can be this sections this drop down in here can be changed but the other one that's so called let me just go back and click the view all property section so the status thing this one you can also add that into the the portal earlier because it's not visible so if you want to add that you can click this one here so this this thing in here cannot be changed the active and inactive can it cannot be changed it's, it is a default in hubspot it is based on the activity of a contact while the sales properties can be modified okay you can change some of the wordings in here according to your preference so i've already clicked that one if i go back here let me go back to the user section for the portal so I already have this status word, okay? So if you go into the, if you want to access this 
view properties or these properties in in HubSpot. You just click the gear icon again and then go into the section called properties. So the properties section, you can change. There are some default properties in here which cannot be changed. And that one of that is the status properties here. So you can click if you click this edit sections in here, uh, you, you'll see this warning here that this cannot be changed. Like I, you cannot do anything in here. OK, it is based on the activity of that specific contact. If it is an active or an inactive. OK, now the goal here. We want it. We have we should have a, a label called active member. OK, so I'm I will use the lead status property instead of the status property. So click the edit. And I have this some writing in here, new, open, in progress, open deal, and so on and so forth. We don't have an active member status. So I'm going to add new options there. Active member, active member, active member. OK. And click Save. OK. I already have that options. I can go back to my workflow. Um, let me just refresh my workflow and set a, a trigger and we'll use a contact properties again and type in lead status. So if the lead status is changed to the active member, click the apply. I want to receive an email notification. I always, by the way, I forgot, I always want to set up a delay to let the HubSpot um, system breathe. So I would like to have like at least one minute interval or let's just do um, five minutes. And then we will set an email notification here or send email. If you want to send an email notification to that person, we'll use we don't have this name in here so i'll just use myself subject um this is the subject in here so we can use a token so we know who is the new member so that is the first name and then the last name And then let's use a separator and look for a mobile number. Okay. And then we can have this oh so subject. There's no sub there's no subject name. Okay, yeah, I think that's right. And I'm going to change this one to another token. Token, another first name. Okay, and click save. That's how you do it. Um, if you don't like the email internal notification, there is also an email, sent email section. Okay, for the sent email section, you need to like set up, again, it's almost the same. Set up an email, use a subject name of that, um, that like what I did in here. You can have that. And then the body of this um, the email. So basically, this person that I have assigned, I'm just I'll just close this one. So basically, this person will receive an email notification every time a user or a contact in, in the HubSpot database become active. Um, once you're ready, good with your workflow, then you can hit the review and publish it. And if you always want to nurture all the stats of your HubSpot 
workflows, you can always set a goal in here. Like obviously the goal is we want the user or the lead to be active user. And this will provide you a report of how many active user are triggered in that specific time frame. Um, details in here is basically like the analytics, the performance of your workflow, um, if it is if it is effective or not. Alert is it obviously if you have some problem or errors with your workflow that you will receive, you will see an alert there. So that's how you can do that.